friends welcome to technique this is normal here and in this video we're gonna do a detailed faq on the xiaomi redmi note 7 pro so redmi note 7 pro was announced in india with uh, two variants uh, the four gigabyte ram and six gigabyte ram variant and it comes with a massive 48 megapixel sony imx sensor and it also comes with the new snapdragon 675 chipset so we have done the unboxing camera review and also gaming review but we have been getting a lot of questions uh, on this device so we'll uh, try to answer all the queries we have been getting on this device so unlike our regular faq this will be slightly uh, longer in duration because of the number of questions we have been getting so let's get started with the detailed faq on the xiaomi redmi note 7 pro so first step let's have a look at the sensors available so you can see that this device comes with all the basic sensors proximity magnetic sensor gyroscope light uh, and all the basic sensors are available on the uh, redmi note 7 pro next let's look at the sim cards so this device comes with a sim card slot on the left side and it is a hybrid slot that means you can use uh, two sim cards or one sim card and an sd card slot so there is no dedicated sd card support available on the redmi note 7 pro now talking about the gorilla glass so the phone comes with uh, gorilla glass protection on the back panel as well as on the front panel because it's having uh, glass finishing on the back as well as front so gorilla glass 5 is supported on both the uh, front and the back so there is adequate protection on this device now talking about the display this phone comes with an LTPS uh, LCD panel and it's uh, one of the best we have seen in this price segment you can see that uh, the viewing angles are great uh, the touch response feels very smooth and the colors are also really good so overall we feel the display quality is definitely good and uh, it also comes with a dot notch uh, uh, that's a very small notch on the top so overall the display quality feels very good on the redmi note 7 pro now moving on to the voltage support this device comes with a uh, dual sim cards as i said before and there is a dual voltage support as well so you can use two geo sim cards at the same time now storage variants so there are two storage variants available uh, we have the 464 variant which is priced 13 triple line and uh, we also have six 128 gigs of storage available so if you want a larger storage because there is no uh, dedicated sd card slot you should be looking at the 128 gigs of storage variant now next step let's have a look at the fingerprint scanner performance so we'll just test out the fingerprint scanner so there you go so it's quite accurate uh, but it may not be the fastest out there but uh, that's a pretty good job now there is also face unlock available so again we'll just test the face unlock so there you go that's the face unlock on the redmi note 7 pro now next the software aspect so the phone comes with the MIUI, uh, so we have uh, seen MIUI on uh, all the Redmi smartphones. So here also we have the MIUI 10. So this is the latest version of MIUI and uh, you can see that uh, this comes with a uh, MIUI 10 and uh, you get all the features included. Uh, we have the dual app support, app lock is there, then support for themes, uh, then uh, you have uh, uh, option to customize the navigational buttons and a whole lot of features are included uh, you can even control uh, app lock via fingerprint uh, scanner even face unlock is included so the software is uh, feature rich and does a pretty good job here now talking about uh, the processor so this is a relatively newer chipset it's a qualcomm snapdragon 675 chipset and uh, we have seen this even on the vivo's b15 pro which was recently announced so we'll just uh, show you the benchmark score uh, for the snapdragon 675 on uh, the redmi note 7 pro so there you go that's the benchmark score we got and we'll just uh, do the breakdown score you can see that uh, cpu score is 79,000, almost close to 80,000. GPU score is 36,000 and uh, you can also see the total score is around 1,75,000 on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Now talking about the battery. So the phone comes with a 4000 mAh capacity battery, the same capacity battery which we have seen on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and Note 6 Pro as well. Now unlike uh, the previous version, we have the USB Type-C port on this device. So that's the first time the Redmi series gets the USB Type-C port because the Redmi Note 6 Pro and Note 5 Pro had micro USB. So finally Redmi has uh, come up with uh, the USB Type-C port and this device supports Qualcomm's Quick Charge 4.0 that's the official confirmation we have this supports uh, QC 4.0 but the bundled charger with the box packing is a 10 watt charger so it's a standard charging uh, uh, charger which is included in the box pack so if you want to uh, have the uh, Quick Charging you need to buy a separate uh, a fast charger 
ப்ராப்ளி கியூசி த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் ஜீரோ ஆர் கியூசி ஃபோர் பாயிண்ட் ஜீரோ சார்ஜ் ஐ யூனிட் பை இட் பட் பட் இட் டஸ் சப்போர்ட் ஃபாஸ்ட் சார்ஜிங் ஆன் திஸ் டிவைஸ் ஸோ தேட் சம்திங் வெல்கம் மூவ் ஃப்ரம் ஷாமி ஸோ ஷாமி இஸ் டூயிங் எ பீட் ஆஃப் காஸ்ட் கட்டிங் வித் த சார்ஜ் பிகாஸ் கியூசி ஃபோர் பாயிண்ட் ஜீரோ சார்ஜஸ் ஆர் டெஃபினெட்லி காஸ்ட்லி ஸோ எகெயின் த ப்ரைசிங் ஆஃப் த டிவைஸ் வில் கோ அப் ஸோ தேட்ஸ் ரீசன் ப்ராப்ளி தே ஆர் நாட் இன்க்ளூடட் the fast charger but the, definitely this supports fast charging and talking about the battery performance it's really good performance so you can get easily like 7 8 hours on an average again uh, screen on time depends upon user to user so uh, we got around uh, 6 7 to 8 hours on an average so uh, maybe uh, if you are a moderate user you might get even uh, more than 8 hours but battery performance is definitely good and you can easily last uh, more than a day around 1 and a half hours 1 and a half days of battery life you can get with this device Now talking about the speaker performance so we'll just uh, play a song from uh, YouTube's library and I will just show you the performance So you can see that the speakers are uh, loud enough uh, and uh, does pretty good job here Now next let's have a look at uh, the LED notification that's one query we have been getting uh, from a lot of viewers so you can see that when i connect a charger you can see that at the bottom you can see this this the LED notification available just below the just uh, to the side of the USB i mean uh, the USB type c port so that's the LED notification available on the Redmi Note 7 Pro Now talking about the USB OTG functionality so this device does come with OTG support so all the Xiaomi smartphones do come with OTG support Now another feature which uh, Xiaomi smartphones do have is the IR blaster. So even this device has an IR blaster on the top uh, so that's also supported. Now another question uh, is whether this device has camera to API feature enabled which means uh, can you install Google Cam or the Gcam app on this device. So we have uh, tested this and you can see this is the Gcam app we have installed on this device without any sort of modification. So camera to API is available on this device so you can see that all the modes are supported on this device the night mode uh, the night vision is also available so if you have the gcam apk available you can directly install this on this device without any sort of modification so google camera is supported on the redmi note 7 pro now another uh, another question we we getting is whether this device has wide wind l1 support so we can uh, just uh, see here so we just install the app you can see that the wide wind uh, l1 uh, support is available on the redmi note 7 pro talking about the cameras so this device comes with a 48 megapixel sensor it's a sony imx sensor we have done a detailed camera review of this device so in case you not checked out the camera review you can just have a look uh, we have mentioned how the camera performance is so it's the sony imx sensor and uh, it's a 13 megapixel sensor on the front panel for selfies now uh, this device uh, does come with a 4k support there is electronic image stabilization offered Uh, 1080p resolution is offered at uh, 60 and 30 fps while 4k is supported at uh, 30 fps and eis is available only for 1080p resolution at 30 fps and there is also support for slow motion now there is also a dedicated 48 megapixel mode you can see that uh, if you go to settings you can see the 48 megapixel mode which can take uh, photos in 48 megapixel resolution you can even toggle this uh, option from uh, uh the the settings here you can see that uh, uh if you go to the pro mode there also you can see the option to toggle the 48 megapixel shooter so that's the camera on the uh, Redmi Note 7 Pro in case you want to have a look at the camera samples uh, we have uploaded the dedicated camera review as well so now talking about the pricing and options so this comes uh, with a uh, two variants 4 GB RAM 64 GB storage priced at 13 rupees line and uh, 6 GB RAM and 120 GB storage priced at 16 rupees line so these are the two variants available for the Redmi Note 7 Pro so those are the FAQs on uh, the Redmi Note 7 Pro so if you have uh, any other questions uh, you can just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your questions so uh, this uh, device definitely looks like a promising device uh, uh, in this price segment and uh, it's definitely a game changer for Xiaomi in India So that's all guys hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos this is number signing off thanks for watching have a great day